Indeed, uh, Cody's Caravan, we're in Jackson today. Uh, we're going to talk to the Macklins, Jamie and Patrick. Uh, you guys grew up here, right? Yes. Like, how did you meet? We met at Jackson Junior High uh -huh. here in Jackson, California. Mm -hmm. uh, we were 12. You were 12. Yeah. Do you know it was love at first sight? I did. Yeah. I don't know if she did. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so local kids, you guys grew up here in this, this great town, this great area. Uh, moved away. You were in the military. You guys traveled and stuff, and you come back to town, and you start looking at this place again. So you just can explain to me the story. We traveled. I'm a nurse, uh, so we. he was a military. I was a nurse, and we kind of just traveled around, and then we had kids, and it was time to come home so that we could have Nana. And <laughs> 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 so um, it's a great place to raise kids, and so we came home, and here we are. Yeah, and here you are. Now, Jackson, to me, and in Amador County itself, is just potential. I, I, I look at these places and I go, this is like such history, such cool buildings and all this stuff. I, I'm guessing this is how it happened. You guys are back in Jackson, and you look at these places, and you're like, well, that building's open, and that building's been open for a while, and you guys decide to do something about it. You know, you don't notice this when you're a kid, uh, but the, the architecture and how things are here, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, and Everybody else is kind of around trying to make things better, and we wanted in on that yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I want into this. I want into this because I love what you're doing. Uh, it's called Restore Amador. So give us a little idea about some of the projects you guys are working on. Well, the courthouse, we have um, it's three stories, and it was decommissioned in the early 2000s. So it's been sitting there empty. Uh, since we purchased it, Baker Street West has moved in, and we're hoping to make a new Jackson Theater. Oh, that's going to be awesome. A uh, little, little bit, we're going to go over and take a little tour uh, of the renovations and stuff you guys are doing over there, but there's another piece of property too, right? Right, yeah, the original Amador County Library. Oh, cool. It, it's amazing old building. We don't even know how old it is, but uh, it's turning into good things for us. Yeah. Um, I really think HGTV needs to know about you guys. Like, this would make a great show. I applied. <laughs> did you really? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, HGTV? Yeah, I, I don't understand why this isn't a show. I would watch you guys fix up Amador County. Okay, so we're going to take a tour coming up of the old courthouse and to see what you guys are, are, are doing with that and everything. But it's got such potential. I, I believe in what you're doing. Like, I wish more people would do this, come back to their hometowns and, and kind of bring some new life to it and stuff like that. Okay, that's what's coming up. Back to you guys in the studio. By the way, we're at Boiler Works Coffee, and this coffee is some of the best coffee I have had, and you guys know I am highly caffeinated. Boiler Works Coffee oh. here in Jackson. Get you some. <laughs> Get you some. We're going to have to send you with a thermos next time. Uh, thank you, Cody. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Appreciate it. Local couple could be the next Chip and Joanna Gaines for their work on several fixer-uppers. And Cody's Caravan is with the handy duo this morning, checking out all their work. All right, Cody, what you got? Uh, well, I, I don't know. For some reason, Steve is playing with his light. I don't, I don't know why he's doing that. But we're inside the old courthouse. This is one of the buildings that they're trying to restore. This thing is amazing. There is so much square footage in this. Unbelievable. It's the Macklins. Meet the Macklins. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. You, you, you find this property, and it, it, it's been sitting here for a while. 20 some odd years. It yeah. is amazing to me that it was just sitting here and nothing was being done. And it was kind of a problem, right? Yeah, it's been kind of, you know, there's been people that have broken into it and uh, we have a school right next door, yeah. so we want it to be a safe place. Uh, and you're, you're doing it, you're doing it. Okay, tell us about this room. What are we in right now? Uh, I think it's the treasury uh, <laughs> because there's safes and there's safes inside of safes and uh, like Seems pretty secure. It's like a Russian nesting doll for <laughs> safes. Just the like the ornate stuff on the outside of this is just cool. And then that safe is here forever. It's not going to be able to be moved, right? Until the it end of there. humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. I mean, that looks like if a nuclear missile hit it, it would be fine. Like the nuclear missile would bounce right off of that. Okay, so how many square feet in this building? Uh, I think it's about twenty-four thousand. Whoa. That's a lot of space. It's a lot of space. Yeah. So what's the dream? What do you, what do you want to put in here? Oh, uh, well, we want to start with the theater company, mm -hmm. Baker Street West, um, in the courtrooms uh, down here. 
any business we can get into Jackson is good business. Yeah. So hopefully small commercial operations in here. Now we were telling you it's not just this property, it's the property next door and we can see through the window here. Uh, would you regale them with the cool fact about the roof? The roof, the clay tiles, somebody told me it was the way they used to make them, they would put the clay over their thigh and that's how you got the shape of the clay tiles. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. That is so fascinating. <laughs> I, I love the idea of taking something that's just been kind of an eyesore and then building it up to something. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking because it's so cool. So up here is the old jail cells. Um, around the corner, I'm totally oh, getting lost. Hi. Oh, we're just finding friends everywhere we go. <laughs> Everywhere we go? Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going over here. This is where the jails were. And because of this building, it has like an Art Deco feel to it. And so as we get up here, we're going to show you maybe the coolest jail I've ever been in. And I've been in a lot of jails, unfortunately. <laughs> we're going. We're going. Okay. Okay. So here's some of the jail sales. Where's the, where's the corner? The, the curvy go down the scary hall. Oh, oh, down the scary hallway. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost. It's a little loud. They're doing some construction outside, but I wanted to show you guys this. As a matter of fact, I'll stop here and let Steve show you. So, you guys look at this design. It's curved. The jail cell is actually curved. Wow. How neat is that? That's amazing. Coming. Okay, so we're going to continue our tour up here. Uh, our friends from Baker Street West are actually upstairs working on it right now, so we'll get a little peek at what they're doing up there. Back to you guys. Cody, can we get you to go stand in the cell? Can we get you to stand in the yes, cell? Yes, you can. And we'll recreate the Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? <laughs> thank you, Cody. Your cheap shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hannibal. Appreciate it. Welcome back. We're talking about this amazing project. Look, people are moving in. They're moving in. Okay, what is that? What is that called? This is a mechanical stair stepper. And we call him Brunton because Brunton was the uh, butler in the Adventure of the Musgrave oh, Ritual. Oh, yes. And this is what has made it possible to get most of our belongings, our 1,400 boxes, our furniture, our refrigerators, our piano, our organ, um, the top of a roll-top desk up to the second floor. And, of course, we're talking about Baker Street West. These are my friends from Baker Street West. Uh, and you guys are moving into this old historic building. This is so exciting. We're so excited. We're going to take over the top floor of uh -huh. the old courthouse, and we're going to just do it up big, just Baker Street 2.0. Well, you don't do anything little. No. You always do it big, no. but this gives you the opportunity oh, to do it big. Yeah. Let's take a tour. Let's take a tour. Okay. Let's, let's go walk around. So, so show me, show me where we're going to see. Um, this was the old clerk's office, and it will now become our dedicated dining room, Simpsons on the Strand, which will be over here. We'll have the Wolf and Bear Pub here, uh, for all of those who remember what we had at the mm -hmm. old venue. We'll have two dress shops here, one for gentlemen, the Deer Stalker, and one for women, um, Adler's Emporium. We've got a kitchen planned up there. We have um, in this room, which is dark now, the Diogenes room in honor of Mycroft Homes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we have Mrs. Hudson's Tea Shop, which is down at the end. And we have our own china cabinet, which is wonderful <laughs> because most of our china was in boxes. Yeah. Um, this is such a move. This is such a move that you guys are doing. Huge, huge. Uh, how do we get? Once again. Yeah. How do we get to the uh, where the the theater is going to oh, be? We're going to go this way this into way? the old courtroom. Okay. Okay. We're going to old courtroom. Yes. Like seriously, this space is amazing. Okay. So the it's amazing. Here will be a little Victorian street with vendor carts, etc. And Dr. Watson's apothecary will be up there on the top. Of course, it will be. Of course, of course it will be. And this is the old courtroom, which will become our theater. And it will be a theater on a regular basis. Isn't this amazing room? This is incredible. Yeah, so we have these wonderful high ceilings so that we can do lighting. Um, again, because one of the magic pieces of Baker Street West when we did theater was that the actors came in and out of the shops. So we will have storefronts, little storefronts, so people can still come in and out of the doors, and the audience will still feel like they're in Victorian London. 
and our actors, our children are so excited. They can't wait to get back on the boards and do theater again. I can't wait for you to get back I on the know. boards and get I theater again. Me goosebumps. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, Macklins, this is a huge project. This is a huge project. You guys aren't loaded. You're not coming from like the Bay Area with a bunch of money and stuff. You're just local people that love this place. Y you need some help, right? Yes, we yes. are going to make this place great with partnerships and donations, and we're always looking for help. Yeah, so what do we need to do? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> What can we do to help you, though? Well, there's a at website home. on RestoreAmador.com. We do have a place for donations, and there's also a link to Baker Street West where they can also accept donations. I'm telling you, this building has such potential. I'm so glad you saved it. Like, seriously, it was, it was kind of an eyesore. It was a problem, and now it's going to be a place where everybody can gather, and so many magical things are going to happen here. I'm so excited for you guys. All right, back to you guys in the studio. We're going we're gonna to take you into some of the jail cells coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, because hey, there's a little thing in there that i got to show you. I, and I, I apologize no? if you already answered this, but what's the timeline for getting everything completed? Like, when can we go back, basically? What's the timeline for Baker Street West? Well, it's going to depend on the funding uh -huh. and the elevator. Okay. So oh. we have to make the building ADA compliant. And as soon as they have a plan for that, then we'll start construction here in the theater. All right. So, so we can speed before, before yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. So what we need you folks at home to do is go to the website and donate so we can get this thing going. Yeah. That's yeah. what we got to do. Yeah, because Thank selfishly, I, we need to go back like yeah. ASAP and see the completed. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Thank cool. you. The timeline is up to us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Cal. Appreciate it.